Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. I uh, got a new boat for the channel. All right, this is the Tornado High Speed Brushless RC boat. It's a true ready to run. Comes with your transmitter, your receiver, battery, the whole nine. It's ready to go out the box. All right, 65k per hour. Okay, uh, so we're gonna do a review, uh, kind of a quick review out here. It looks like it's gonna rain. Gonna do a quick review and uh, give it a rip in the pond. All right, see what she'll do. And um, yeah, stick around. Big B with Ironclad RC. So let's get to it you guys let's get to it uh it's pretty cool man it's a pretty cool looking boat uh i like the color choice that teal and like lime green and orange black it looks good it's a good looking boat um i've actually already opened the box i've charged the battery and everything so we're ready to roll uh just kind of give you a quick brief look at some of the features on the box here 2500 kv uh brushless outrunner motor uh it has self writing feature uh stunts high rate battery remote control 2.4 gig uh, bi-directional low voltage alarm five level speed switching night sailing uh, it's got lights in it it's pretty cool pretty cool uh, rudder turn fins trim tabs the whole nine uh, it comes with a um, as you can see it has like the receiver uh, it's all separate so it should be proportional steering and throttle so uh, let's open it up okay let's open the box up here uh, this is exactly what you guys will be getting uh, if you purchase the boat now this boat's basically it's basically um, like a beginner style boat or um, you know for a teenager or new boater okay so right off the bat let's get our remote out it takes four double A's I've already put some batteries in so she's ready to go left turn tuning right turn tuning led control speed up speed down all right uh feels comfortable you can't really do it one-handed but uh it's all you need that's all you need to get started all right um it also comes with a 1600 milliamp high rate battery all right 3s 3s capable with an xt30 plug on it that's pretty cool uh, good to see so it's hobby grade you know with the xt30 uh, you got some little goodies right here you got an extra propeller it looks like charger and a little wrench to put your propellers on the boat uh you got a stand so i've got the stand all put together pretty uh pretty easy pretty simple that's all you need maybe put a little super glue on the corners there uh if you're going to keep it permanently put together so it don't come apart uh you got your instruction manual here all right tornado high speed rc boat operating instructions oh well, wow damn i didn't even realize it was full color that's pretty cool so it actually walks you through each step how to get your boat going i definitely recommend uh taking a look at this charging instructions uh your how to work your remote features the boat has has a sticker sheet here with numbers on it so i've got it out the box here all right uh i like the colors i like the scheme you know the color theme they got going i kind of like got it. turn fins that aren't adjustable okay uh which for a boat like this eh, it should come ready to go out the box we'll find out here in a minute you got trim tabs that are also not adjustable they're plastic uh you got a, a propeller now this is a pre-production boat uh and they've actually included a metal propeller on the on the like the production boat so uh, when you receive this boat you'll actually be getting a metal propeller it's got a plastic rudder here looks like a clear plastic pretty cool that's all you need it looks like you got your water exit right here and the water pickup is actually on the bottom of the boat okay um, so let's uh, let's open up the hatch here and take a look at the inside all right so you got two little latches on the back that hold the hatch on all right easy peasy and this little fin right here actually does a pretty nice job uh so you can get the hatch off easily because it's actually a fairly tight a fairly tight fit get the main hatch off it's actually clear that's pretty cool that's pretty cool all right once you get the main hatch off okay uh you you have a secondary hatch an inner hatch that helps keep water out the boat uh looks like they got leds on the interior hatch which is pretty freaking cool man all right so you just lift this hatch up make sure all your your locks are unlocked and the hatch should pull right off like so all right you got a little rubber gasket that goes around the interior of the hatch to help keep water out your lights are plugged into your receiver 
all right it looks like a seven channel seven total channel receiver uh, the 2500 kv brushless outrunner motor has a water cooling block a collet or a coupler with a oh wow looks like a 0.98 flex cable you guys see that little flex cable there so it does have a flex cable it looks like uh non-adjustable strut so basically your your uh your propeller angle is locked in and not adjustable okay uh you got a little micro servo back here in the back corner battery strap for your battery hold down and your esc is up forward okay also water cooled all right you got like i said a while ago you got your water pickup right here and the exit is back here now the instructions actually calls for the water exit to go right there but it actually kinks your line so i recommend just kind of uh leaving it hanging out the back or snipping it off right here it should be fine okay um so let's get the battery in and get it powered up all right your your 1600 milliamp battery goes right in the battery compartment toward the back of the boat i brought an extra battery as well a, a spectrum 1300 milliamp fits this boat perfect just kind of tighten it down okay so it don't move around there's no adjustability for the battery so it's basically locked in place as well which is a good thing for the beginner just filling out the boat you know that's all you need okay so uh, let's get the battery plugged in here all right make sure our remote's on before we start it up plug it in tuck it away make sure this battery lead right here is not going to get caught up in your motor collet or anything all right and let's see if we have power and we do all right we got power it's like it looks like a 34 millimeter prop if i had to guess maybe uh 1.2 pitch so if you wanted to prop this boat up you uh you can and you probably get a little bit more speed from it okay uh you got your lights that come on on your uh secondary inner hatch okay so we're gonna actually put this on put the main hatch on that's pretty cool man so you can run this boat at night time you know you can run it in the, late in the evening or at night and uh you'll see where the boat's at that's freaking awesome man it's my first boat well ready to run boat with a freaking light that is too cool you guys so we got power we're at the water okay well, let's make sure our, our hatch is snapped into place here got throttle got steering now the steering is proportional okay full proportional steering full proportional throttle all right oh. got reverse Let's check the self rightening right off the bat, okay? So you just want to rock your boat back and forth by forward and reversing your throttle. Perfect. Good deal. Good deal. All right, let's just uh, feel it out here, okay? Nice turn, wide turn here. Full trigger. Wow. All right, let's do us a little launch from a standstill. Oh, and propping willies, baby. Propping willies. All right, so the steering uh, is good. You got a nice right turn. It actually wants to nosedive a little bit there. All right, and let's check the left turn. Left turn's good. A little bit wider left turn, which is normal for an RC boat. And then your right turn's extremely, extremely tight. All right, full trigger. It's, uh, I would say it's about 30 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, nice. So the one thing I would like to have seen on the boat is uh, adjustable trim tabs, at least adjustable trim tabs. The turn fins, uh, not so much, but adjustable trim tabs would have been super nice to have on this boat. Uh, as it is, as it is, as you guys seen, the trim tabs, are not adjustable which if you needed to you could probably add or heat up this plastic and bend your trim tab down if you needed it okay uh so far so far it, it really don't need it okay they've actually done a pretty decent job of balancing the boat out all right 
very sensitive on the on the turn which is a good thing you know if you trying to dodge an obstacle or something that comes in handy I would say it's at least 30 miles an hour at least you know I, I would say it's hitting at 65k an hour you know nice nice oh so we got reverse if you get into a situation kind of like we are now you got reverse to get to back out all right um now you know this boat it's uh it's a small boat it's only 17 inches long which you know um, not everybody lives by a large huge body of water a river a big lake you know so this boat right here is going to be perfect for your smaller neighborhood ponds park ponds you know uh it's plenty fast to have a good time you know get out there with somebody else that has a boat do some racing you know oh we just nosedive oh there it is it came back up all right so she wants to nosedive a little bit in a turn let's see if i can pull it off here for you oh huh? well maybe not just does it every every now and then nice she's a ripper son little ripper oh shit she popped a willy excuse my language yeah man yeah this would be great for a uh, teenager you know uh fast electric boaters that's um you know been in the hobby for 10 five or six years a few years this boat mm, it's probably it'll probably be fun for you I, i'll say that yeah i'm having a good time i'm having a ball with it actually i'm having a freaking ball 30 knots and no smoke baby oh whoa oh, oh. whoa all right, so when we pull it out, we'll check for water. We'll check for uh, temp. You know, I don't have a temp gun, so I'll just use my fingers to check it. It's water cooled, so the electronics shouldn't get that hot. I've been running the boat for what three or four minutes. We just flipped it, rock it back and forth, and it self rights. All right, uh, it's going to be a fun boat at nighttime. It's got those lights in it. You know, it's going to light up the canopy. Pretty cool. I'll, I guess I'll, uh, I'll I'll take a picture of it lit up at night so you guys can see it. Uh, and I'll include it in the video. It's pretty quick. And they've done a pretty good job of, of tuning the boat from the factory, you know? So it, it don't really have all the tuning features, but it runs good without it. I like the box. I like the box the boat came in. You know, you could, you could store the boat in the box and uh, keep it safe, you know? It's ready to go right out the box. Pretty cool. And it's got good control. It's got good control. Especially in a right turn, man. She's a, she's spot on in a right turn. Nice! Man, she's got that 2500 kV motor's got some some uh, some power, man. I think it's a, a 40 amp ESC, a 40 amp water cooled ESC. You know, you could easily upgrade the ESC, you could upgrade the motor, the servo, the receiver. The, I mean, it's whoa! Did you guys see that? You can you can upgrade pretty much anything on this boat. It's it's a uh, it's hobby grade. You know, it's a hobby grade boat, hobby grade electronics. Oh, and she turns on a dime. Watch. Oh, nice. All right, let's do some donuts. Oh, oh, oh. All right, self right. Rock it back and forth. There we go. And the, the production boat actually comes with a metal propeller, you know? So uh, the speed or performance may be better with the. All right, so when you go into low voltage, uh, the remote makes a uh, beeping no no noise, uh, an alarm to let you know. The batteries are discharged that you need to bring your boat back okay so we're gonna get it back here I'm gonna turn this off because it's loud and um, let's check for water all right so I'm gonna get this hatch off I will mention this you got uh, if you if you're running the boat with a youngster a kid or something you could uh, you got 50 75 and 100 so you can you know 50 75 and a hundred type deal uh, speed down speed up all right you got your trims for the rudder here all right you got your trims for the rudder all right and I just turned the remote back on with a dead battery and it's letting me know that my battery's dead 
that not to run the boat so that's really cool for the beginner the new boater those are great features to have all right so let's get the hatch off here uh, i think i'll just use this grate all right we'll use the grate and yeah i might have to pick this off so i finally got the hatch off here uh it's really hard to to get <laughs> the hatch off the secondary hatch i don't really have fingernails so um i was actually there's like a little plug right here it was a rubber plug i was trying to grab up under that plug and uh, the plug came out which i think it's supposed to come out so you can drain the water out the boat and uh, i actually lost it in this grate oh good that's my luck that's my luck so we're gonna pull it off here okay uh, i'm gonna go ahead and unplug the battery since the battery's done all right uh let's feel the motor jeez it's very 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 warm but it's not extremely hot it's not hot super hot within operating range all right um check for water let's check for water in the boat here no water at all in the boat that's freaking awesome what more can you freaking ask for a fast fun little boat with that don't have leaks that don't take on water man uh everything worked as it should i didn't have to turn a screw i didn't have to uh i didn't have to do nothing you know um shoot i recommend it i recommend this little boat for you know the new boater somebody looking to get in a hobby i think it's going to be a great boat okay uh it's 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 solid okay it's made out of a thick material uh no issues had an alarm to let you know when to bring your boat back to the dock all right everything worked as it should okay it was fun it was really fun so uh i appreciate you guys watching my my review of the tornado all right uh there's a link in the description where you can get the boat we'll see you guys next time big b with that clad rc